się. Deal. Okay then. Damn, it's losing health though. We should wait for the notification that the uh, blowout's finished. <laughs> Indeed. Now uh, let's see. So Snorks, I think what I've got should be good against that. I'm not going to be facing off against human enemies really, so yeah, I think Shoddy and uh, binoculars should do the job just fine and dandy. It's still going on. Damn it, where the hell was the original notification? Ah, here we go. Blow out, stay sheltered. Okay then. <laughs> well, there we go. Too bad these guys don't have anything really more to say. Sounds like a bug, perhaps, but uh, in either case, they are passing off pretty nicely. And yeah, indeed, just trying to stay alive. Oh, he's actually got a couple of. Uh, well, actually, no, they're really shitty quality. So yeah, it doesn't really have that much good stuff on him. It does have a surprising amount, I admit. Including the. Uh, okay, it's just a detector bear, so of course, Novella's detector. Bad ammo. Why the hell would he have that? Okay then, not even worth much. So I'm not really sure why he hasn't shot, sold that off yet. And, but anyway, is a fucking blowout still going on? Stay sheltered. Stay sheltered again? Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, mission complete. Stay sheltered. New mission state. Wait a minute. So oh, okay. So it was completed, which meant don't have to stay sheltered anymore, or what? Seems to be. Huh, okay. Seems to be pretty quiet. Let's just have a look. Wow, talking about heavy fog there. Probably going to change if I have to reload. But uh, in any case, there we go. We got the new mission from that guy. And where do we actually need to go? Oh. Ah, there we go. So, ah, okay. Whoops, because of the way it scrolls down like that. Alright, whatever. In any case, there we go. It's done. a couple of, well we just want achievements really not a couple and we'll just see what exactly this other mission is let's see oh no that's the ventilation shaft and that's no where the hell was the other one oh here it is fueling station and claw anomaly so I don't know what exactly what type of anomaly that is actually but I suppose we shall find out. Since we just got the old barge and dock cranes and all that, see, so yeah, I think we might just go down here. Perhaps even have a look at the uh, claw anomaly as well. I've already been through there, although it might be good for hunting mutants around there. And we'll go there as well at some point. But uh, meantime, yeah, I think I'll just do a, round a bit of a roundabout trip over here. Also got Ranger Station, and of course you have plenty of other places to st still explore, so definitely plenty of stuff to do, to say the least. Oh yeah, that's right, including a main mission. I believe I started there, but I did probably l have a look to see what there was to loot, so... Yeah, what the hell, let's just get over to the dock cranes, and then yeah, I'll slowly make my way around to the uh, actual mission and all that. Oh, of course, there's another freaking anomaly to explore. Should I just go straight here then, in that case? Huh. Well, now fuck it, let's go by the dock range, see how close they are. So there we go, let's set off once again. We've got pitch black with a bit of fog, so perfect weather to get ambushed in. Better save. There we go. And once again, we shall let's set off. Actually, how's my weight? <laughs> Not looking that good, despite the fact that I'm, well, 
It feels like I've just got only the uh, most basic of stuff on me, but there you go. Apparently I'm carrying plenty, it seems. Oh well, whatever. Let's just do a bit of exploring, do that quest, and uh, yeah, just see what else is out there, because there's definitely plenty of uh, Zayton to explore. I just wish I could find that freaking stash that was located around the pipe. Probably underground or something, but uh, whatever. <laughs> probably never end up finding, I'll probably end up finishing the game first. There you go, so there we go, finally back at the dock cranes again, and nobody around here it seems. Very ominous fog actually. I wonder if that happens always after a blowout. Probably not. Well, in any case, let us investigate. So, no stashes hidden between the wheels by the looks of it. And I believe we did have a look at this house actually, I think, or shack, should I, should I say. It's probably a bit much calling it a house, all things. Yeah, we already searched everything here, the bodies disappeared. Interesting how I still can't sleep there though. Damn it, the bloody radiation's still getting to me though. For fuck's sake. Yeah, that's well, there we go. Since it's going to be so much a pain in the ass, I guess we'll just have to use a bit of tobacco. Healthy, revitalizing tobacco. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's nothing really healthy or, or revitalizing about it, but that's the effect it has in games, so I'm not going to complain too much when I'm that's irradiated. Is this thing radioactive? No, apparently not. Nothing in there either. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's some stuff around here though, but where is it? In any case, there we go, I did actually end up looting one stash, but I think there is something there as well, something else. Just find it. Damn it, I know it's. I had like a brief notification there was something there. I think. Maybe not. Damn it. There's nothing under the trunk for that matter. Well, to be these stalkers, definitely very crafty as to how they hide this stuff. I'll give them that. And there you go, a bit of due diligence so I can actually find it. Actually, I might have picked up whatever it was that was down there because I was holding down the F button. Yeah, possibly. Nothing appearing now, so. What the hell? Still irradiated, though, for fuck's sake. Okay, better smoke a bit more tobacco then, or eat it, or whatever. <laughs> Actually, I don't think you'd eat it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure, or whatever. In any case, it should help a bit with the radi radiation. I didn't think I should be that um, heavily irradiated, but. Uh, <coughs> there you go, apparently I am. Probably took a bit of extra radiation when I had the door open during the blowout. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's still there. Ah, uh, you've got to be shitting me. So what do we have, anyway? Cutlery, bad ammo, which I suppose I can sell. And that seems to be about it. Mount this thing just in case, actually. Whoops. There we go. And am I, am I still losing health? I wonder. No, I actually, yeah, yeah, I'm still am. Damn it. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Alright, then we better smoke another cigarette then. Not bad how the game sort of condones smoking and a couple of other things like that. Not bad. In any case, uh, not finding anything else, and that stash wasn't really much, actually. I'm even surprised that um, whoever hid it away actually even bothered to do that, but uh, there you go. And no stash in here, that would probably be a bit, a bit obvious, really. Holy shit, this radiation, I really must have radiated the shit out of myself there. God damn. Yeah, I suppose there's nothing obvious under here, is there? Nope. Damn it. Now, well, still a bit more to explore. I think there's also like an underground area, or at least there isn't any underneath here to explore, which I'll do in just a second. Holy fucking shit, this radiation, though. Yeah, okay, yeah, definitely still damaging me. Shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, I must have taken some radiation damage from the uh, 
emission, because really I only ate one single irradiated mutant for fuck's sake. Or the irradiated piece of mutant meat, should I say, and it was co cooked as well. Oh my god, how the hell am I still irradiated? Wait a minute, I'm not carrying something that's radioactive, am I? No, this thing's empty. And just got this thing, which is... not radioactive. Wow, okay, well, I'm going to have to use some uh, anti-rad drugs, if I have any. Damn it, I don't think I do, actually. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, here we go. Okay, well, let's just get that in. Okay, so that should ensure that won't be radioactive at all. Shit, I probably should have done that a bit earlier, actually. Well, it's just that I thought that I wasn't that radio that irradiated, but uh, I suppose having the door open during an emission is probably not such a good idea, but I just wanted to have a look at it. That's the okay. It certainly cost me. Fuck me. Well, there we go. At least I managed to stop myself from dying, I guess. Now I've got next to no freaking health, though. I wonder if there's a way up there, actually. Let's see. Oh, yep, there is. Perfect. What about up here? Nope, nothing there. That's just the claw bits. Oh, there we go. Let us keep on exploring then. That breathing is going to be pretty annoying, but, uh, yep, there we go. Slowly but surely healing up, so it should be alright in a small while. Well, I probably won't be alright, but at least I won't have that really annoying breathing. So I've also got that thing up there, although by the looks of it, given the way it's textured, I think that's actually, those windows are opaque, actually. There's probably no way to get up there from what I can tell. At least there's uh, hopefully going to be something up here. Nothing under here unfortunately, but oh well. Let's see. Door with some fancy writing on it, and really there's no way to open this? What the hell's the point of this then? Let's see, no, no ladder up here by the looks of it either. For fuck's sake. Come on, give me something to work with. Ugh. Okay, I apparently didn't mean to crouch under that. Oh, well, whatever. I managed to find a bit, I guess. And what the hell is that? Oh, never mind. That's just the inside of the uh, shack there. No problem. Well, that was great. Well, I suppose I can get up there if I need to for one reason or another. I suppose it'll provide a good uh, vantage point. Too bad I can't really see much in the darkness. I really, I can't even go under that. Eh, yeah, whatever, let's just explore the bottom bits. I think I'll just save that. And bam. So yeah, as you can see, this is definitely not a walk in the park like Fallout 3 was. And Fallout 3 wasn't exactly a walk in the park either, actually. Well some ways. Anyway. Actually, there's no way up there, is there? Well, no way into the building itself, should I say. There's a way onto the platform, but I've already been on that. Yeah, it's amazing, really. Fallout 3 is uh, kind of easy compared to this. And Fallout New Vegas, funnily enough, they've actually got that so-called hardcore mode, where you have to um, eat and all that to stay alive. And it's funny, because it's kind of, well, that's how it is in uh, all the Stalker games by default. No need to set it as a so-called hardcore mode, that's how it is by default. Oh, there you go, just shows a bit of a difference between uh, Western and uh, Eastern gamers, I suppose you could say. Given that um, the Stalker series was um, mostly for a Russian-speaking or speaking audience, so there you can see there definitely were uh, English, uh, English versions produced as well, while uh, Fallout was mostly for a, uh, for a Western audience. There, you can definitely see the different approaches there. Well, I'll be damned, I think I might be able to get up here, actually. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe not. Well, at least I didn't die from that. <laughs> and, we'll explore a bit more down here. Doesn't really seem to be anything down here, though. I thought there was meant to be, like, a little tunnel or something, but... Nope, that was just being... Wait a minute. Oh, that's to his, um, to, to the old barge, actually. Don't need to be there. Nope, apparently there's nothing really down there. That kind of sucked. I was kind of hoping for a tunnel or something, but oh well. 
see anything down there. Let's just go back all the way to the other to the other end just to make sure that miles will be far away if nothing else. And ah, nothing. Yeah, whatever. Let's get back to the. Let's see. Well, let's get over to this anomaly first. I hope to God this isn't radioactive. It is a bit, but I'm not getting a yellowish radioactivity indicator, so there we go. Apparently we're good to go. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I'll be damned. Actually got attacked by a cat there. <laughs> ah, well done. Well done. Mr. Cat, but I'll know where to, to expect you next time. <laughs> Damn, the thing was bloody silent. I just saw claw marks appearing on the screen, getting scratched to hell and back, wondering what the hell was happening. And uh, well, let's get the. Oh, right, we should change that actually, since I can get ambushed technically. There we go, I think this basic ammunition should be alright against a cat. Just try to be careful. Well, that thing did basically make no noise, so I'll have to try to spot it, basically. And maybe just look around every so often, rather than just continually facing one direction. Damn it, all this freaking tall grass. Anything could be hiding here. A freaking pseudo-giant could probably hide in amongst this grass. Ugh. Ugh, I say, and of course this time it's not going to appear. Whoops, I didn't mean to go in that direction. Let's go over now. Yeah, yeah not seeing anything. That damn thing didn't even hear it going through the water or anything. In fact, I wonder if it even makes a noise when you go through the water. <laughs> probably not. It's probably meant to be incredibly stealthy. Although it should make a noise that you'd think, even if it is treading carefully. In any case, no attack this time. So chances are the AI of it was reset and it decided to go off in a different direction, so whatever. One of mine are just taking it out actually and uh, looting it, but uh, I suppose we'll just have to be content with... There we go, we just have to be content with getting through without incident, I guess. <laughs> a bit anticlimactic, but oh well. Yeah, still not seeing anything around me. Man, yeah, talk about a spooky atmosphere. And here we go, this will be the anomaly. So, let's see, is it going to be radioactive or what? What? Wait a minute, I see that. What the hell is that? Oh, a couple of boars or something. Yeah, it should be alright. If need be, I can take them out. Oh no, they're not, they're just fleshes. Oh, come on, man. Can't seem to hit these things. Shit. We should just use a shot, actually. Well, whatever these things are, they're definitely. Uh, shit. We should just get your shot out, actually. Yeah, back you go. Bastards. Ah, what the hell was this? Oh, yeah, it was a flesh. Well, meat and all that isn't exactly worth much, but uh, whatever. It's stuff that I can loot from at the very least. So, there we go. Actually, wait a minute, we still got moonlight from... Well, we got light coming in from somewhere, actually, so... Probably don't necessarily need the flashlight, but still... Oh, wait a minute, did I just go back to the same body? I think I might have. Damn it, I know I killed off one more. I think. I think I did. Damn it. Well, in any case, this one must have been the one I just looted. Huh, okay then, well... Not so much for that. Damn, I thought I killed more than that. I must have, must have just wounded the other ones. Damn it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's it, that's it. You wanna come back to you? Yeah, you wanna come back? No? What the hell is it doing? It's just running around in circles. <laughs> yeah, God. Anyway. Actually, since there's a truck there, we might as well investigate that as well while we're at it. And that's this anomaly, whatever the hell it is. It's not killing me from afar just yet, so... Oh shit, this thing's radioactive. Okay. It's not killing me from afar just yet, so... I might be able to actually get an artifact from that, maybe. 
Oh, what the hell. Let's uh, give that a shot. We managed to scare away the uh, fleshes. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. the um <clears throat> sorry I could equip the headlights or headlamp oh, there there's the moon yeah I could equip the uh, headlamp but uh, probably not much need for it so let's just see if I can find this artifact so what the hell is this anomaly actually meant to be I wonder let's see where the hell is this freaking artifact actually ah oh, yep yeah, got radioactivity of course and I seem to be my mask seems to be handling it all right whoops I oh, know there's actually a couple of other anomalies Vortex ones. Yeah, that's good to know. Although I think I actually died to the falling damage first before it picked me up. Hmm. Okay, here we go again. Ah, God. Yeah, thank God for the moonlight. Anyway, let's just go for a bit of artifact hunting. My God. After playing for several hours and is actually hunting for artifacts. What madness is this? Okay, so it must be underneath me by the looks of things, and something tells me I do not want to drop down. Pretty interesting area, this little... what the hell is it called again? The claw anomaly. Let's see. Oh shit. Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. Now then. Can I actually store this thing? Oh, it's a jellyfish. Yeah, I should be able to store it relatively uh, easily, actually. Well, safely as well, should I say. Uh, let's see. Shit, I probably should have got a lead lined container, actually, for transporting this stuff. Where the hell is it? I can't believe I can't... Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, yep, it's, yep, I'm actually managing to counteract the uh, radioactivity altogether. Perfect. Okay, probably time to get this out. Get the uh, flashlight. There we go. Get out of here as quickly as possible. And yeah, there we go, my mask actually does seem to be... Um, oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Okay, it looks like I was actually bleeding out from that. Just after I managed to get an artifact for the first time through artifact hunting. So there we go, this sort of anomalous anomalous field just seems to have those um, common stuff. So it's got the jellyfish there. Now it's good to know. <sighs> God damn it. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Just have to watch out for. Um... Ah, okay, yep, that sort of stuff. Okay, there's another thing there as well, which I didn't actually would have seen otherwise if I didn't throw the bolts there. I can actually go under it. Let's see. Damn it. Whoa. I really hope to god I can repair this gas mask. Because <laughs> that's going to be annoying. Ah, shit, I fuck. I'm just going to reload that. That was pretty fucking annoying. So I actually had to get pretty much straight into an anomaly just to get that bloody artifact. So was it really worth it then? Huh, <laughs> not bad. Uh, well, I could try that. I think I'll just try that once more and uh, I'll just try to rush it straight in and straight out. So looks like I can't dodge the anomaly that seems to have spawned the artifact, unfortunately. So, let's see. Where the hell is it? Go. Perfect. Alright. <sighs> God damn. Yeah, now let's try to get out of there without dying. Oh shit. What the fuck is there? Like that. Okay, what the hell's going on there? Like a. 
Okay, there we go. That should, it should be safe to get through, but still. Like a bloody force field around this place. So yeah, this place seems to be relatively benign. There's probably actually some caves and all that to explore. Now that I think of it. But uh, yeah, let's just get out of there for the time being. Yeah, there probably would be a few caves and all that to explore. Let's just have a look. Now, there's a couple of openings. Probably... well, I think I'll try to do that snork quest first. But yeah, definitely a few things to explore. Although damn, a couple of anomalies here and there as well. But I should be able to maybe leap or get down, if I go the other angle, to get down into one of these uh, caves, actually. So, let's just get out of here first and get, make our way over to where the... Uh, shit, that was a close one. Make our way over to um, wherever the hell this thing is, at uh, the fueling station. Ah, okay, that's great to know. So hopefully we can get around just by walking. Oh, yeah, of course we can get around, Jesus. And there we go, definitely some caves or something to explore, which will probably be full of snorks as well. In fact, I might actually have to end up going down there anyway, but uh, we'll see what happens. Probably should have saved actually after I got out of there. Whoops. Yep, definitely have quite a few cracks here and there to explore. Does this actually lead anywhere? Nope. And... Well, actually no, there's like a little shaft down there, but I can't actually get down there. I don't feel like glitching myself on the terrain either, so... Correct, I'm going to have to make my way out of, out of here the long way. Whoops. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it looks like there should be a few explorable caverns. Yeah, you want to test your luck, dear? <laughs> oh, really? You want to you want some azure, dear? Ah, oh, fuck me! I should have tried to shoot that thing in the head, actually. How the hell did that thing take so many shots and the other one died so quickly? There we go. Jesus! Thank God this shoddy ammunition is so plentiful. Yeah, god I'll probably should check to see what the third one was doing actually. <laughs> oh, that was... Well, the third one doesn't seem to be attacking me, so... Probably managed to scare him off. Yeah, oh, these fleshes just don't learn, do they? <laughs> yeah, well... Okay, and let's continue onwards once again. So this time we'll try not to drop down any cracks then, so I can actually complete that quest. Actually, oh, I can't, don't really feel like jumping there. I should just be able to get get around this way. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I better save. Victor Mando. And yeah, something tells me this quest is probably going to be a bit cheap. I'm probably going to come across a deserted car and then get ambushed after I get close enough to it. Well, that's what I'm guessing anyway. God damn, man, it cracks out of here though. Ridiculous. Okay, and the car itself fell down a crack, so is it here somewhere? Oh, actually, it does extend a bit further down than I thought it would. Huh, I don't recall that. Well, I think it is dumb down... Oops, that was not, not a good idea. Definitely down that crack somewhere, and now there we go, now I'm down there. <laughs> Gets us the, f the express route down. Oh god, let's see if I can do that in a somewhat... More steady fashion, perhaps. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, oh, these tips or diary entries, whatever the hell they're meant to be. Just gotta love them. Now then, let us try to do that once again. So, I fell into a crack. Although the fueling station probably is gonna have some useful stuff as well, actually. So, before we go down, let's just see what's around here. Okay, so we've got a radioactive van, which I think I better get away from. I think running after me, which is good. Yeah, I could swear that uh, mutant dogs spawn around here as well. <laughs> well, I suppose we've got some fleshes in their places instead. <laughs> Sounds good to me. That, and let me guess, we probably won't find anything here without looking behind every fucking looking cranny, just about. Yeah, definitely strip this place down, that's for sure. Yeah, no, nope, nothing in the drawers by the looks of it. What's left of the drawers anyway? <laughs> yeah, no stashes or anything at all. No, oh, not so far. Although, what the fuck? Is this thing radioactive? Yep, yeah, looks like it is actually. Shit. Probably no way to get in there either. Yeah, let's see, so is this. But you know what? I'm going to take a look anyway. Just 
Just hope it doesn't end up screwing me over, but uh, that doesn't seem to be anything around there either. Great. God damn it, come on man, you could have given me something, some loot or some backstory. <laughs> like in Fallout 3, well, for some of the areas anyway. And looks like these pumps might be a bit radioactive as well for that matter. Damn it. Yeah, that's well, whatever, there doesn't seem to be anything around here. At least not yet anyway. Probably something obvious I'm missing. But nope, I've had a look around, can't find anything. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> ah, indeed. <laughs> oh, dear me. As you can see, I'm pretty impatient to get that quest started. Ah, very impatient to see. But anyway, let's just try that again. So, is there any particular... So, shit. you got to be shitting me. How many other fucking time I've reloaded? No, oh, fuck, I'm reloading again. That was bullshit. Really. God damn it. Why the fuck did he shoot me then? Fucking mutts it <sighs> Alright, well let's just try to stay down then, and actually I might be able to make my way down this way. Actually, where the hell am I? Am I? Oh no, no, actually that's right, I saved a bit before the fueling station. Well, hopefully with a bit of... Oh no, actually I can't get down that way, damn it. Well, there should be hopefully an opening somewhere else, and then I'll just go that way. Let's see. Ah, like an opening right here, actually, given the fact that we're going to be facing off against Snorks. I'm going to get the uh, shoddy ready right now, actually. As for how to get out, well, we'll just have to figure that, that out as we go. Damn it, another fucking... Here we go. Let's see. Shit, another long drop. Uh, actually, can I go down this way? Yep, I can, actually, and I won't take that too much damage. Hopefully dropping won't kill me. Damn it. Wait a minute, there are probably better ways to go about that, but oh well. So that probably leads back somewhere, so we'll have to venture further in by the looks of things. With next to no health and yep, definitely something around here. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh shit. Of course. Take one shot. <laughs> oh, with that health, shouldn't be too surprising. Hopefully these things will go down easily to uh, shoddy rounds. I mean, they're essentially still human, just mutated, deranged humans who uh, love wearing gas masks. But then again, who doesn't really? Everyone's wearing, wearing gas masks here, I suppose. But anyway, let's just go back again. Doesn't look like we're being shot at this time around, so it's good news, I guess. Try to see if there's a better way to go about this, maybe. I suppose we'll get this thing out as well. Here we go. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Here we go. No falling damage or anything. Perfect. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's where I was before, actually. Whoops. Oh, come on. There must be a better way of getting down there. Because there has to be a way to get out of there as well, so... Uh, let's see. What about up here? Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? That guy can't seem to path up here. <laughs> it's almost comical. Yeah, we should be able to get him from range then in that case with this gun. So headshots will be, take these guys out pretty quickly, but it's like, going to be hard enough to hit their freaking head when they're moving like that, so I don't think I'll bother. And there we go, finally, down he goes. <laughs> Dead to a single snork. <laughs> Need to think. I actually probably should reload the sink. Okay, give me a hand. Could do with the help, I guess. <laughs> I believe this is the way to go, probably. And now, well, given the nature of these tunnels, actually, I wouldn't be too surprised if there were giant ants or something down here. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. 
And great, enough enough dropping down to yet another pit. So further down we go. Apparently there's going to be a whole bunch of snorks once we get close to that car. Though with the amount of ruckus I'm making, they probably will uh, come to me before I even reach the car. Great, enough enough dropping down one level to another and... Oh, ah, there he is! Shit. Oh, God damn, those things are deadly. Wow. <laughs> okay, maybe if I'm a bit patient I might be able to engage it from the ledge itself, maybe. Uh, God damn it. In any case, yeah, giant ants would be pretty funny to see. Yeah, kind of also like from, say, Fallout 3. But getting out of here is going to be interesting. But anyway, let's see, where is that snork? There's no other way. No, there's no way back. How the hell did I even drop in, actually? Oh, from up there. No, wait. I can't have to tell, actually. No one dropped in from somewhere, and I probably can't go back that way. <clears throat> oh, come on. Where are you, freaking snorks? Let me guess. I'm going to have to drop down first, aren't I? Yeah, of course, no way back up here. Okay, I haven't encountered anything yet. Actually, I could just try crouch walking, actually, to see if I can retain some stealth, maybe, just for the hell of it. Although, no, wait a minute. Ah, uh, uh, there, yeah, he spotted me. And he's probably going to end up going up here, actually. <sighs> Shit. Thank God for that. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'm not actually bleeding out from that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, snork leg, eh? Why not? My God, even just one of these things is pretty freaking deadly. <laughs> oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Alright, well, instead of dying, I suppose I might as well use one of these med... What the fuck? Oh, okay, of course, there's no light down here. <laughs> Wondering what the hell was happening there in the darkness. And, okay, yeah, good. Perfect. Jesus. <sighs> okay, I think I might just save after taking out each one then, if they're that freaking deadly. I'll just wait for the med effect, the med pack, should I say, or medic kit, whatever, to uh, finish, and then I'll, I believe I shall save. So, which direction am I supposed to be going? Ah, here we go. Presumably in this direction. So, it's still a bit, bit irradiated, but it's probably nothing too bad. And there we go. Thank God there's nothing else attacking me. There we go. Good as new. Alright. Let us continue onwards. And what the hell? To pretend that we're stealthy, let's crouch walk. <laughs> okay, I think we're pretty close to the car though. Something tells me I'm probably going to get ambushed as soon as I come to it. Well, maybe not. Actually, that probably will be... Well... Wait a minute, what was that? Oh! There was a notification for searching the car, despite the fact that I'm... not actually facing it, but there doesn't actually seem to be anything... Well, they'll probably ambush me after I search the car in that case. I bet you that's probably what's going to happen. So, alright, let's search it. Okay. Well, nothing ambushing me just yet, but still. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a long drop there, to say the least. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a way back up there, so I'm going to have to go back the long way and probably get ambushed by various things. Actually, I haven't seen any other stashes on in any of these tunnels. It's probably a bit risky to hide them, I suppose. Although the uh, snorks would act as pretty good fucking protectors, I guess, but actually getting his stuff back would be a bit tricky and, yeah. It's probably multiple snorks there, but at least the game did quick save for me. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, at least I kept my headlamp on this time. Actually, I should have a bit of power left for that. Let's just have a look. 
Yep, it's starting to run out though. I probably should charge it up as well when I get back. And hope there's no other way there. I guess I could go this way instead, but I'll probably just get ambushed anyway. I suppose we could crouch walk as well. They'll probably de detect me anyway because they count as mutants, but uh, what the hell. Let's see if we can do a little bit of stealth before we inevitably end up engaging every single snork within a five mile radius. I'm not really sure why I'm even using Imperial Measurements since I'm living in Australia, but there you go. Okay, are they actually... Oh, yep, he's freaking spotted me, alright. And down I go. I think there was actually only one as well. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Yeah, I think that is only one. <laughs> oh, either that or there's a second one who's being incredibly snaky. God damn it. Hope to god this shoddy can actually do a bit of damage against him. What kind of ammunition does it have again? It's got that, and okay, we just got. Okay. Shot rounds. Slug rounds. Okay. Oh, okay, so I was actually using mostly slug rounds with it, which actually don't penetrate as much. Oops. <laughs> I'll be damned. This will be a bit more effective against mutants, bizarre enough. Well, okay, I think I might just switch over to the gun in that case. At least I'll be able to fire a bit more continuously. And save a bit of UPD power. Although, I think I ran out of anti-tissue rounds for the sink as well. But there we go. Yeah, that was actually a bit more effective, to say the least. <laughs> Bam. I think you're so good there. <laughs> And they have it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> of course I can't go back that way. Where the hell am I? Okay, I think I'm heading in the right direction at the very least, so... Probably... Sh oh, shit. Shit. Fucking jamming. Screwing me over there. Phew, that was a close one. God damn it. I keep forgetting about the low quality of these things. Well, low condition, should I say. Okay, I think I'll save after getting this guy. And hopefully, a cheap repair at the technician should get the um, gas mask back to normal as well. So this ammunition, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just using the regular rounds with, yeah, medium tissue damage. Great. Well, whatever. I'll have to do it. Since I'm only using slugs with a shoddy. Let's see. Where the hell am I even meant to be going, actually? No, apparently not there. Pfft. What about here? Nope, that's that. Okay, this direction, I think. I think I accidentally circled back, it seems. Okay, so there we go. I think we... Ah, damn it, that just goes in a bit more of a circle. I think we should be close to an exit of some sorts. Let's have a look. Okay, that's one I killed before. Probably one I entered in. Ah, yep, perfect. Oh, thank God for that. And we'll let that guy take care of that snork. Okay, never mind, it seems to be stuck on the terrain. Kind of amusing, actually. There we go. Oh, shit! He was actually hostile? Oh my god, how was I meant to know that? Well, I suppose given how heavy his equipment is, maybe? I could have been a mercenary, kind of hard to tell. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to tell who's hostile and who's not? I mean, I suppose that guy who was packing what appeared to be pretty good armor, so... Could have been from duty, though, for all I knew, and I didn't really feel like... <sighs> really? Oops. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, I didn't really, um... Well, it could have been from Judy, actually, so that's what I assumed. I didn't, didn't really think it was a mercenary just wandering in, but there you go. Uh, apparently it was. Shit, I hope this is the right way. 
it's not as it's nope, yeah, this is back where it's where I'm coming from. Damn it, and I dropped down as well. For fuck's sake. Got these caverns all look so alike. It's almost like exploring the caverns in uh, Dwarf Fortress, actually. But there we go, I think this will... Yep, there we go, that should get me out of there. So, okay, this time I'll just shoot at that guy, because he should still be there. Oh, he definitely is, and... Damn it. All the ruckus I was making, he knows that I'm here as well, actually. Damn it. Uh, not really sure if there's another way out of there, actually. If there probably is, you can probably shoot him anyway, so... Where the f how the fuck did he hit me? I didn't see him at all, for fuck's sake. Oh, there's actually a couple of them there. Yeah. Shit. Shit, and they're definitely hostile. Okay then, well, let's see if there's an alternate exit. Shit, no, that's it. Fuck. And there's no snork to distract the guy either, so there's a couple of them. I wonder if they actually spawn as well, just for this particular quest. I wonder who the hell they even are, actually. They can't be bandits, their equipment looks too good for that. Hmm. Damn it, and I don't have... Because I, I was only outfitted to go for mutants and all that, so probably should actually sell this thing, given the shitty condition. But yeah, definitely not outfitted for um, long-range combat, because I only wanted to go for mutants and uh, get the artifact as well. Oh, fuck. Okay, I don't see them now, so... Oh no, there's one of them. Let's see. Okay, there's a second flashlight. Yep, they're definitely, uh... Oh shit! How the... I didn't see that at all. Where the hell was that other guy? Uh, sure, fuck it. Let's just sprint out. So there's one there, there's a second one there, who for some reason was not shooting me. Okay, yeah, now I think... No, yeah, wait a minute, I think they're shooting at the Snork as well. I think. Or maybe there was some other guys there who were battling them. Kind of hard to tell. <clears throat> Damn it. In any case, two apparently heavily armoured and hostile guys. Shit. And I'm basically got the worst possible armament I can get against them. Oh, this is going to go well. So, was it this way, actually? It looks like it was. Ah, shit. And there's only a single exit as well, by the looks of things. Uh, actually, what I could have done, actually, is I could have crouched walk, walked, actually, so they wouldn't have... heard me as much. Damn it. Should I just try to sprint, I wonder? Let's see. Actually, how much am I carrying? Oh, of course I'm carrying too much as well. This thing, of course it weighs crap load. So yeah, I should just run back to Skadovsk. Not the Shevchenko, the Skadovsk as quickly as possible, so... I wonder if I can actually... Oh, no, probably not. If I knew where the hell these guys were... I mean, there must be one in the distance, uh, somewhere be behind that um, shimmering anomaly. Maybe not. Maybe both of them are over here. Oh shit. Damn it. Anything I can think of is maybe trying to sprint that way. Fuck it. Nope. <laughs> oh, and there's a snork as well. Need to think. God, I really hope to God I don't have to reload and do the whole freaking thing just because I didn't bring a a rifle. Pitch <sighs> not. Oh, in any case, there we go. It's not too easy to find the way back there. Just have to turn around and go this way. Okay. Well, hopefully those guys didn't hear me while I was sprinting. I'll just try to. Okay, I'll turn that off as well. Okay. Okay, nothing. Yeah, don't see any guys over the horizon there, so there must just be two of them towards my right flank, apparently. No, wait a minute, what was that? Damn it, I, I can swear I saw something move. It was probably just the freaking snork. 
Okay, I'm going to have to think about this one rather carefully. Okay, don't see anything. And those guys, actually no, they can't be mercenaries because they've got those flashlights on. Okay, so who the hell are they? Why don't they look like me? Those bastards. <laughs> oh god, that's... Yeah, yep, definitely got flashlights. That's one of them. Okay, maybe they... oh, wait a minute. Can they actually spot me or not? Where the hell are these guys going? Ooh. Okay, yep, that guy's definitely spotted me. And yeah, of course. Probably should try to aim down the sights actually, but yeah, they, they are using flashlights. Apparently. And we've got a snork as well, just to make things a bit more tricky. Just crouch walk there the entire time, actually. Which can actually do that, yes, perfect. Pitch go Matsurino. So I'd be glad to be back at the uh, Skadovs, that's for sure. Okay, there we go, crouched walk the, walk the entire freaking distance. Oh, no, wait a minute, there is one guy there. Uh, and he doesn't have a flashlight, so he must be using... Where the hell did he go? Damn it, I did see him though. I don't know if it'll show up on the video. But I definitely saw him, for fuck's sake. So, he didn't have a flashlight on though, but the other two did. So maybe two bandits or something. And a mercenary? I uh, don't know. They're still shooting at me. I don't see I don't see any muzzle flashes here, so Okay, that must still wait a minute, let's just turn this thing off. No, wait a minute, no, that guy does have a flashlight on. The one that's over there, but there's still two more. Okay, no, there's the, that's one of them. And there's two more of them around somewhere else, so this guy seems to have given up on me for some reason. There's still two more, or maybe around here? Yep, there's still two more there, shit. Oh, man, this would be so much easier if I had something a bit longer ranged. I mean, this thing does have a bit of range on it, but really, it's not much. And yep, I think he spots me. Damn it. Maybe I can lure them in here. Probably not, though. They're probably just going to keep a beat on this place. Damn it. Well, I seem to have the element of stealth for whatever reason, so... I mean, this bloody broken glass effect isn't exactly helping much either. Might be able to maybe get this guy. Yeah, actually, I can if he goes around like this. There we go. That's one down. I got save. Even though I know it'll screw with the AI if I have to reload, but still. Leaves two more to go. Might be able to take them out actually. Shit, where the hell is he going? Oh, he's probably spotted his ally, and damn it, I think there's someone else shooting from the ridge. And see, I was just trying to see where the hell they were shooting from, I couldn't fucking see anything. God damn it. It's like as if they set up a freaking ambush for me. Although who these people are, I suppose I'll have to find out after I uh, pick over their carcasses. Because there doesn't seem to be any other way to get through this. So we've got one guy there who I think will... Oh, wait a minute, there's still one guy over there. Uh, okay, yeah, there is actually another guy off in the distance there. Somewhere. Damn it, it's going to make shooting after this other guy a bit trickier then. Fuck. So... No flashlight though, so they're using night vision or what? I mean, how the hell are they spotting me? Show you. There we go.
Es proceed. Ah, god damn it, they got nice little position basically set up. Little ring around this choke point, it seems. Fuck, yeah, that guy spotted me just as well that I ducked in time. Man, I really wish this thing can. Well, I really hope it get, can get repaired. I think I might keep it on actually because, yeah, there is radioactivity around that zone there. I wish I could freaking see that guy at least. Well, there's a dead guy somewhere. Or oh, did his body vanish between saves as well? No, actually, no, there he is. Okay, and there's another guy off in the horizon somewhere, but I uh, don't know where the hell he is. Should be another guy around here somewhere. Where the hell are these guys actually? They seem to be relocating. Ah, there we go, there's one of them. They seem to be relocating after every freaking save, just about. And bam, another one down. Man, I would have left them alone if they uh, did the same thing to me. Okay, one, two, and there's another one around there somewhere, but uh, if they get close enough, then I can engage them with a pistol. Shit. So maybe it's just a matter of being patient, it seems. Just trying to get them into the best possible angle for me to attack them from. Yep, there's the other one. Okay, I'll do this fancy lean micro. Yeah, I got an idea if I even hit him actually because I didn't have the flashlight on. Nope, he's still alive. Whoops. Man, the amount of tension here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Was that? No, that's... Shit. The amount of tension just from one single guy, and fuck, my helmet's now pretty really screwed. Oh. Okay, better use this as quickly as possible. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, fuck, I should have saved after killing off that other guy. My god, man, I'm going to have to save after killing every fucking guy, it seems. God damn it. Well, of course, if I had a freaking rifle, then I probably wouldn't have to save it all. Or rather, well, it might take a couple of tries, but it wouldn't be quite as ridiculous as this. Uh, Alright, well, let's try that again. Just have to try to get these guys as close as possible then. Since thankfully they don't seem to be quite so patient and they're willing to get themselves out into the open to try to get a shot at me. Now to me though, they are definitely, uh, they're not, not exactly, uh, you know, just just rushing to their doom. They actually are trying to uh, be careful in their movements, kind of like how I am. But, wow. Yep, okay, there's one guy. I don't know where the second guy is though. So it's, um, okay, I guess we need a duck again. Ah, the tension, especially with this amount of health. Actually, I could get a bit more, but I think I should be alright with how much I have. Shit. <clears throat> what the fuck? Ah, oh, okay, it takes a bit of time to apply that, it seems. Okay, hopefully we should be alright now. Is this other? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, you bastard. And there's the other one. Okay. I'd use the um, sights on the sink, but. Uh, oh, shit. But then I can't use the freaking flashlights. I could use a hand lamp at the same time, but oh, fuck it. Oh, okay. It's kind of waiting for him to shoot me there. Wondering why the hell he wasn't reacting so fast, but I suppose I was maybe ducking in and out too quickly for him, perhaps. Ah, Jesus, this is going to be annoying. I really hope to God they've got some good loot on them at least. Because their armor seems to be, well, it seems to be better than what the bandits had on them, so. Too bad I can't loot that as well. <laughs>